Unfortunately, some very sad news to report that Casting Crown's former drummer, Andy Williams, has in fact passed away after the tragic motorcycle accident that he was involved in a couple of weeks back. I'm going to get into the details of it, guys. Let me just make a quick mention, uh, really quick. For those new to the channel here, I wear these glasses uh, because I'm blind, so I just wanted to get that out there to everybody. Uh, Williams suffered this motorcycle accident back on Sunday, June 27th. He was actually on his way to church when the incident took place. Uh, he had to be resuscitated there at the scene where he was taken to a hospital, placed on a ventilator. This was all in the, in the same day. Uh, it was then announced a couple of days later, after the band had already reached out and asked people for prayers at this time, that Andy would be able to wake up on his own, um, that they unfortunately had to go ahead and amputate one of his legs due to the injuries. Um, it appeared that maybe things were starting to take a kind of a turn for the better. He was suffering some infections, actually spiking a lot of fevers, uh, but they went in and did a procedure on that to remove some bacteria from the lungs. Uh, that ended up getting the fevers to go away, uh, but apparently the injuries that he suffered was just unfortunately too much for him to overcome. Now, the band actually put out a social media post earlier on today that said that Andy went home to be with Jesus just shortly after 1 a.m. early Friday morning, July the 9th. And they said, although, you know, this looks as though, you know, God didn't answer the prayers, you know, they reached out to everybody saying, you know, Andy would please wake up. We would just be able to witness the miraculous taking place here on earth. Casting Crown said, well, it's not exactly what happened. He did answer our prayers because Andy is alive and well right now, he said, but he's with Jesus. He may not be with us here on earth, but he's with the Lord in heaven right now. He's rejoicing. He's not in any pain. You know, there's there's no amputation up there. He's he's got his he's got his full heavenly body up there now, and he is in a perfect paradise. So he said, as much as this hurts, that they've lost their friend and brother, uh, that uh, they know that they have the confidence that they're going to see him again. They will be reunited with him once again. Uh, when we're all together in glory. That's something that we know that we're all going to be a part of someday. So this is very sad news. Of course, we'll be continuing to pray for everybody in Casting Crowns, as well as uh, Andy's family, his wife Kelly, their children. Uh, you know, this is going to be especially hard for them. These kids having to grow up without their father. Um, I can't imagine uh, what that's going to be like for them. So they're going to need a lot of prayer and support at this time. But as we often do here, you know, if you're new to this channel, we, we talk a lot about, you know, mainly prophetic news headlines that talk about the last days. And we, we try to get people to Jesus here. And when situations like this happen, it's another reason to get people to the Lord because you never know when your last day is going to be. And so we want to, like we do on all of our videos, offer you right now watching. You're stumbling across this maybe for the first time and you thought about maybe accepting Christ but never wanted to fully commit to that. Well, this is your opportunity right now. To receive Jesus and how you do that is by first acknowledging that you're a sinner we all are but God gave his only son Jesus Christ to die on the cross for the sins of all the world he died and rose again for you and me he paid the cost but what you have to do you have to repent of your sin and repent means to turn from your sin not just to say you're sorry but to turn from a lifestyle or a habit whatever it is in your life that's counter to what the Word of God says you ask Jesus to forgive you He'll wipe that sin away. The Bible says he won't even remember it anymore. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. I'll have more for you guys on this down below. You can let me know your thoughts. Um, again, all the prayers going out to Andy's family, Casting Crowns. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.